It's my question of the moment, really. China going one way, Europe going the other, and a question mark over the fate of the U.S. recovery. Where do you come down on that now, Mohammed? It is the hardest one, John. Um, it's clear that Europe, most of Europe will have a double-dip recession, and that's really regrettable. And hopefully this time around, people will learn how to live better with COVID so that we can reopen in a more sustainable fashion. Um, China has controlled it. My own gut feeling is in the U.S. we will see the same problem with cases, hospitalization, test and trace system being overwhelmed, and household behavior is going to become more risk averse. But we are not going to see different states jump to restrictions as quickly as we saw Germany, for example, do so. So you will get the slower economic activity because of people's behavior, not because of lockdowns. So consumers to disengage regardless of restrictions. So for the investor then, Mohammed, this is really important because you got the feeling this week that for some market participants, even though consumers were disengaging in Europe, particularly in Germany, they waited for the restrictions to take the longs off. Now, Mohammed, I want to understand from your perspective the best way of processing this situation, the signposts that you'll be looking at to navigate this market through the next couple of months as we go deeper into winter. So I think you've got to differentiate between the economy and the marketplace. The economy is about looking at the high frequency data, the very high frequency data, mobility, um, restaurant bookings, credit, the information we get from credit cards. There's a ton of information, public information available on all this. And to get a feel to how the consumer is reacting and how different states are going to react in terms of restrictions. That is what's going to matter. And remember, John, the hardest thing for markets is dealing with a shock that is viewed as temporary, but you're not quite sure when it's going to be reversible. We do very well when it's temporary and reversible. We do OK when it's permanent, because we know what we're looking at. But this one, we think is temporary, but we're not sure if it's fully reversible or not. And that's what makes it tricky. But the marketplace is going to be about central banks still. Does the, do investors still have faith in central banks? You saw yesterday, it was like watching a movie over and over again. Sell-off on Wednesday, ECB responds on Thursday, responds by providing even more guidance than what the market expected, and we trade up. Will we see that cycle repeat next week when the Fed delivers its verdict on what's ahead?